Welcome to Granny's Book Nook. Today's story is Fancy Nancy, The Hundredth Day of School by Jane O'Connor, based on the art of Robin Priest Glasser. It is the 97th day of school, and I have a dilemma. That is a big problem. I do not know what to bring in for the hundredth day. Bree put 100 feathers on a hat. It looks so elegant. That's a fancy word for pretty. Robert is bringing his stamp album. There are 100 stamps in it. Yoko's piggy bank has 100 pennies. The bank is transparent. That means you can see inside. Lionel made a ball out of 100 rubber bands. After school, I look all around my room. I have 39 hair clips. That is not enough. I have 57 bracelets. That is not enough. I have 84 ribbons. That is not enough. What am I going to do? Now it is the 98th day of school. More kids bring in stuff. A bag with 100 marbles, a jar with 100 jelly beans, a box with 100 crayons. I tell Miss Glass my dilemma. She tells me not to worry. You are very imaginative. That means you are full of good ideas. You will think of something. At home, I tell mom my dilemma. She is making dinner. How about a poster with macaroni, she says. I do not want to hurt mom's feelings. Three kids have already done stuff with macaroni. Macaroni is not imaginative. Dad is doing the wash. Maybe he will have a good idea. Dad says, I bet we have 50 pairs of socks. That makes 100. I do not want to hurt Dad's feelings, but socks are ugly. I want something imaginative and fancy. After dinner, I try to think some more. All of a sudden, I hear my sister crying. Look, my sister says. She points at her fishbowl. Goldie is her goldfish. Goldie is not moving. We bury Goldie in our yard. Everyone is sad, even Frenchie. I am so glad that dogs live a long time. We put a few pebbles from Goldie's bowl on top. I tell my sister, we will remember Goldie fondly. Fondly means with love. The next day, I write a poem. Goldie was gold. For a fish, she was old. She liked to swim, so she stayed slim. You can't kiss a fish, but you can miss a fish. Miss Glass likes my poem. She reads it to the class. Nancy uses interesting words. Slim means thin. Her poem is in verse. It rhymes. At home, it is sad to see the empty fishbowl. Mom is about to throw out the pebbles. Then all of a sudden, I get an idea that is imaginative. Stop, I say. I wash and dry all the pebbles. They are so pretty. I count them. Yes, there are 104. I get my markers. I get a huge piece of paper. Huge is even bigger than big. I will make a poster. I spell out Goldie's name in glitter. I draw a picture of Goldie in her bowl. Then I glue on the pebbles. I let my sister help. 
I write on the poster. There are 100 pebbles in the fishbowl. Today is the 100th day of school. I bring in my poster. I made it just in time. Miss Glass brings in something too. It's a cart with 100 books. She will read them all to us before school ends in June. Miss Glass is so imaginative. Thank you for visiting Grammy's Book Nook. To get more information for this book, check the description box below. Be sure to thumbs up this video. Click the subscribe button for the latest videos on Grammy's Book Nook.